Sarah Carter published an article. Mueller's report ends the witch hunt, but what is about to unfold is the real story. And Q posted a link to her Twitter page uh, yesterday and then the article. And the article um, explains that the Mueller blockade is now behind the president and his allies and him are preparing to go on offense and drop the hammer. And these corrupt people are going to go to jail. Uh, if you're following the president on Twitter, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. Treason, treason, treason. Every other tweet that the president puts out, he's talking about treason. He's talking about this can never be allowed to happen again. These people have to be stopped. And I would just say this, look, this is a zero sum game. When Trump, an outsider, decided to run for president and he was approached by uh, the military because they wanted to take down corruption, it became a, a zero-sum game. It's a fight to the death. Trump and the generals are either going to eradicate, lock up, and in some cases execute treasonous, traitorous, corrupt, evil people, they're going to be destroyed or else they're going to destroy Trump and his family. That is what's going to happen. Trump is either going to win this battle and the deep state will be eradicated and eliminated or they are going to come after him and defeat him and kill him and his family. This is a zero-sum game. The president does not have the luxury of letting these people go. He has to put down this insurrection, sedition, treason and an attempt to overthrow the government. He has no choice. He has to do it. If he doesn't, they will kill him. 